and two receiver stations. By convention, the parties who want to share information are known as Alice and Bob. In this case, they are located in two separate buildings with the source positioned between them. We'll start by taking a look what happens at our source. A crystal is used to convert laser light into pairs of entangled photons. The entangled photons are in a state such that whatever directions we measure them, the polarization of the photons are opposite. For example, horizontal and vertical, or plus and minus 45 degrees. So, by measuring the polarization of these photons, Alice and Bob can obtain a shared key. The pairs of photons created by the crystal are directed separately into optical fibers. These fibers run up to the roof of the CIT building where we have two telescopes, one pointed towards Alice and the other towards Bob. The photons travel through free space from the source telescopes to identical telescopes located at the IQC headquarters and the PI building. For now, let's just focus on Alice's photons. After they are collected by the telescope, the photons are channeled into a receiver box. Once in the receiver, the photons are directed through a system that measures the polarization of each one. A computer then records a zero for photons polarized horizontally and a zero for photons polarized plus 45 degrees. Alternatively, it records a one for photons polarized vertically and a one for photons polarized minus 45 degrees. The string of zeros and ones that the computer has generated is Alice's key. Bob, having made similar measurements on his photons, will obtain the same sequence of bits. They therefore share an identical key. However, the keys only agree if the photons are left undisturbed. If an eavesdropper disturbed the system, she would create inconsistencies between Alice and Bob's keys. Alice and Bob would see these errors and know that the key has been compromised. If no eavesdropper has been detected, Alice takes the message that she wants to send to Bob and converts it to binary. She then adds the string of zeros and ones that forms the key to the binary message, thus encrypting the transmission. Alice then sends the encrypted message to Bob, who uses his copy of the key to decrypt it. In the end, Alice and Bob have successfully shared their messages.